Hi there, I am Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE Tutoring. I partnered with Achievable to create a comprehensive USMLE Step 1 course for medical students. It combines my years of USMLE tutoring experience with Achievable's powerful software. To learn more and gain access to a free trial, visit achievable.me. Hello everyone, I am Sujata. In today's video, I would like to discuss about ROC curves. ROC curve or receiver operating curve is a plot with sensitivity or true positive rate on the y-axis and 1 minus specificity or the false positive rate on the x-axis. ROC curves are used to assess the accuracy of a diagnostic test and also to compare between different diagnostic tests. In the figure, you can see four different ROC curves, A, B, C, and D. The area under ROC curve is called as AUC. AUC can be used to predict the accuracy of a test. Generally, an AUC of 0.8 or more is seen in a good test. A test with an AUC which is equal to or less than 0.75 is not a clinically useful test. The maximum value for AUC is 1, indicating a theoretically perfect test with 100% sensitivity and 100% specificity. In the figure, the graph uh, shown by D has an AUC of 0.5, which means that test has a sensitivity and specificity of 50%, which is no better than getting the test results by chance. In the figure, test A has the highest possible area under the curve and it is the perfect test with highest possible accuracy. Accuracy increases as the curve shifts to the top and left. Higher the area under the curve, higher is the accuracy of a test. To correctly interpret an ROC curve, we need to know what is meant by sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity is the true positive rate. It reflects a test ability to correctly identify all people who have a condition. Specificity, on the other hand, is the true negative rate. Specificity reflects a test ability to correctly identify people who do not have that condition. Sensitivity rules out, while specificity rules in a disease. An ROC curve can be used to determine a cutoff value for sensitivity and specificity of a diagnostic or screening test. Choosing a cutoff value for sensitivity and specificity of a test should be guided by clinical acumen. When sensitivity increases, specificity decreases, and vice versa. Screening tests should have a high sensitivity. Confirmatory tests should have a high specificity. It is always best to have the highest sensitivity and specificity possible, but such choices may not be always available. If the available treatment is not cost effective or has serious adverse effects, then use a test with high specificity. On the other hand, if the disease is rapidly fatal and the treatment is cost effective, then use a test with high sensitivity. Let's calculate the sensitivity and specificity of two points on the ROC curves. At the black dot, the sensitivity is 100%, while the specificity is 80%. At the red dot, the sensitivity is 80% and the specificity is only 40%. Let's solve a few questions. A screening test is available to diagnose a rapidly fatal infectious disease. The treatment of choice is cost effective and has a very low risk of adverse effects. Which point on the ROC curve B would you choose as the cutoff point for this test? For ROC curve B, Point 0.1 has the lowest sensitivity and highest specificity, while point 0.5 has the highest sensitivity but the lowest specificity. 
For our scenario, we need a test which has a high sensitivity so that we do not miss treating any patients. So for this particular test, 0.5 will be the optimal cutoff value for sensitivity and specificity. Let's do another question. You are evaluating four different tests used to diagnose colon cancer. They are represented by the ROC curves A, B, C, and D. Which test would you choose as the diagnostic test? The correct answer is option A. Since A has the highest AUC or area under the curve, so A will have the highest accuracy. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you to answer a few questions on ROC curves on the USMLE Step 1. All the best.